Hello friends, now today we are going to see the Bevel gears and its terminology. So Bevel gears, they are basically mounted on the shaft whose axis they are at right angles with respect to each other. This they are at 9 degrees with respect to each other. And uh, there are different types of Bevel gears such as straight Bevel gear and second is spiral or hyper Bevel gear. So straight Bevel gear in which the teeth they are straight with respect to each other. And uh, in spiral or uh, hyper, if you see, there will be some slight smooth curvature is provided. So, what in the first straight bevel here, the contact ratio is maximum, but friction is also maximum there. So, the wear and tear is maximum. But here in spiral, as there is line of point contact, so power transmission is maximum as well as wear and tear is less. So, this is the basic difference between straight bevel gear and spiral bevel gear. Now, also. The operation, gear pair operation is also noisy in straight bevel gear as compared to spiral or hyper bevel gear. So now this is the bevel gear terminology. So we, here we will see each and every definition. So first definition, it is the peach cone. It is the cone which is containing the peach element of the teeth. So peach is nothing but what? It is nothing but here. This is the peach cone element. So the, this triangle is nothing but the peach cone element where the peach cone forms the peach circle for the bevel pinion or the gear. So this is the peach cone. Next is the cone center that is the apex. So what is this apex? It is the point where the axis of the two mating gears intersect each other. So this is the apex or center of the center of the cone or peach apex. Then peach circle diameter. It is nothing but the diameter of the peach circle at large end of the teeth. So this is nothing but the pitch circle diameter for the bear bevel gear and the same case for the pinion. If you measure this distance from this part and from this to this part, it will be nothing but the pitch circle diameter for the gear and the pinion. Then pitch cone angle. So what is this pitch cone angle? It is the angle subtended by the pitch cone element with the axis of gear. So pitch cone angle is nothing but what? It is the angle which is subtended. So this is the pitch cone angle here. So it is the angle subtended to by this uh, central line with respect to axis of the gear. Then what is shaft angle? It is the thing about the angle between the intersecting soft axis of the bevel gears. And here it is the special case that here the shaft angle is obviously 90 degree. Then peach cone distance is nothing but the length of the peach cone element from the peach circle to the apex. It is nothing but the peach cone. And back cone is also, it is the imaginary cone, back side, and, is, and all its elements are perpendicular to the elements of the peach cone. So back cone angle same, it is the angle between the element of the back cone and the axis of the gear. Now face width, so face width is nothing but here if you see, so face width is nothing but same as that square gear, face width, we are measuring along the surface of this steel. So this is the face width. And mean radius, it is the piece of radius of the bevel gear, which is measured along the face width and at the midpoint of the teeth. So this is the mean radius. So the application of this uh, bevel gears, we are using in the differential gearbox. Now here, if you see, so this is the differential gearbox of the automobiles of the automobile system, commercial vehicle system. So this is the shaft which is coming from the uh, this propeller shaft, which is coming from the gearbox. To this shaft, we are attached the bevel pinion. And this bevel pinion is in contact with the bevel gear, or it is also called as the crown pin here. And in between the system here, this is the axle to left and right, and this is the sun or planet gear system. So here, particularly, why this differential gearbox we are using so as to increase the stability of the vehicle, as it will not allow any skidding phenomena of the vehicle, and it is also used to regulate the speed while taking the turn to the left or to the right hand side. So this is the basic application of the bevel gears in the differential gearbox. Thank you.